Hello everybody, my name is Bullet Bill, and this is another simple redstone build. Now, in this episode, we have an automatic sheep farm that will get to you pretty much all the wool that you could want or need. It's very simple, and it's completely automatic. In other words, I don't have to turn it on, I don't really have to do anything once I've set it up. As soon as it's built, it will start getting wool for me, just like this. Now, the way this wool farm works is quite simple. So, as you could see, that sheep is on a grass block. Now, when the sheep eats the grass from the grass block, it will turn into dirt. And I actually have an observer under here looking at that grass block. So, whenever that happens, when the sheep eats the grass and it regrows its wool, just like that, you see what happens there. So, the observer sent out a redstone signal, powered this piece of redstone which powered this dispenser, which has shears in it. And if you can remember, shears in a dispenser can shear sheeps automatically for you. Then the wool just is picked up in this hopper minecart, through this hopper, into this chest. Okay then, so to build this, first off you will need a chest. Of course, this could be a double chest, this could be a barrel, this could be a shulker box. This is basically where all your wool is going to go. Now what you're going to do is at the back of that you're going to shift right click a hopper remember I could tell the hoppers pointing into the chest if I look at it like that then you're going to shift click a piece of rail on top of the hopper and then a mine cart with hopper on top of that because this is going to suck the wool from the block above then we need our platform for our sheep to go in and this is where you need grass blocks not dirt grass blocks so I'm going to build a little platform like this and then we need an observer to be looking at this grass block there, the one that's directly on top of the hopperwood minecart. So I'm going to right click with my observer and I can tell it's facing the right way because the little red dot, which is the where the redstone output is going to go basically, is pointing outwards. Now that is going to go into a block and I'm going to place one piece of redstone dust on top of that block. Now you'll need this configuration with the cross rather than the dot. And then we need our dispenser on top of that. So there is our spent dispenser, which is actually going to shear the sheep for us. So now we need something to stop the sheep from getting out. So we're going to build our walls. Now I'm building these out of glass, but you can use any block that you want, providing that it's a full block like that. And then our sheep goes on the inside like that. Now bear in mind, obviously I used to capture egg there because I was in creative mode. If you're not in creative mode, which you, and you'll probably be in survival mode, all you'd have to do is build a little stairway, a little passage for your sheep to get to up to the top like this. Lead it over and try and get it to fall in this space because once it's in this space, it won't be able to get out. The other thing I'd recommend, you don't really need this, but I would build a roof on top of it as well because if a player falls in or if you fall in, and you can't get out with something like an ender pole, then you're going to have to break blocks, which means the sheep could also get out, which is quite a lot of hassle to put the sheep back in. Now the only thing that is left to do is fill up our dispenser. So if I right click the dispenser back here and fill this up with shears, obviously you can fill them up with up to nine shears like that. And there is your sheep farm complete. Now, there's a couple things I will say about this farm. The first is that it's automatic. You don't really have to do anything to power this farm. However, it will not last forever because of the durability of the shears. As you can see, when the shears are used, they use durability. So when all the shears are broken, then this farm will stop working. But then you can always go and fill the dispenser back up with shears. And with nine sets of shears, you could easily fill a single chest of wool and the other thing to say is that you do not have to use this farm with just white sheep so I can dye the sheep and now all of a sudden I've got a farm producing light blue wool so you can do this with any color of sheep you want or indeed if you have the resources you can make a single farm for each color of wool if that's what you'd like and that brings us to the end of this video thank you very much for watching please leave the like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or if you found it useful and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.